Hey class, this is Dr. Willis. I wanted to take this time to log in to welcome you to Module 7. Uh, hopefully you had an outstanding day so far. Uh, I know this announcement is coming a little later in the day uh, by my wife and I had a pretty adventurous day. We had to go uh, check out our new um, rental home uh, that we're, we just signed a lease on. Uh, we had to meet with our new uh, landlord to get some things squared away. Uh, we also had to drive an hour and a half to come pick up our kids. So it was just a long day, uh, but I'm happy to sit down and finally get this uh, welcome announcement to you. Uh, hopefully uh, you had a, a firm understanding in Module 6 uh, with your research uh, questions and also your research methods or, or the type of research that you conducted. Hopefully you were able to, to answer those in that Module 6 paper. Uh, I will start grading those here shortly. Uh, so I... <clears throat> Excuse me, I'll try earlier in the week this time so I can get that feedback to you at a t in a timely manner uh, so you can make those corrections. So uh, hopefully I'll start those tonight. Uh, but for Module 7, uh, we're looking at that same scholarly source or if you had to find a different scholarly source, that's OK. You can pick up uh, with, with that source for this module. Uh, but for Module 7, uh, we're looking at the results and conclusions um, of your source. So now every article um, is not going to have um, your typical um, data specific results and conclusions. That's OK. If you chose a source that does not have traditional results and conclusions, that's OK. What you need to do is talk about the overall purpose of the article and if that purpose was accomplished throughout the article. Um, was it reliable? Was it valid? Uh, did the conclusions or did the overall purpose of the article uh, support uh, many of the things that was that were referenced by the author? So if it does not have that, tra that traditional results where a study was actually conducted uh, and if the author didn't draw those traditional conclusions, that is okay. Uh, but you want to read the instructions and respond appropriately uh, based on your specific source. Um, but that paper uh, is going to be due by Sunday at 11.59 p.m. Uh, make sure you read the instructions thoroughly. Uh, make sure your source is peer-reviewed scholarly uh, within the last 10 years. Uh, there were a couple people that kind of had a source that was super outdated, uh, but that's okay for the first one. Uh, but for the next one in a couple weeks, I want you to be sure uh, to find one that's within 10 years. Now that's the paper for the week. We also have a discussion board. Now in the discussion board, it's all about citations. Now I'm, I'm not going to get into this one uh, a lot right here because I have a whole separate um, video that I'm going to post uh, that's specific to citations. But the overall gist uh, of, the perp of the discussion board is you're going to go into that original source, your scholarly source, and you're going to find a, a quote or something uh, that the author cited. All right. You're going to post that within the, within the discussion board. And you're also going to post uh, where he cited it from. So whatever work it was from. And you're going to explain how the author used it within that paper. Now, I, I, that, that, I may not have explained it well right there, uh, but the video I'll post is, is really going to give you a great idea um, of the purpose behind that assignment. Now, your initial post, of course, is going to be due Thursday by 11.59 p.m. Uh, and you have to respond to at least two peers. And remember to follow the response instructions by Sunday at 11.59 p.m. Um, and lastly, if you have any past due work, I know a lot of people already submitted your past due information uh, or your corrected information for Module 4. Uh, I'm going to go in and grade those uh, tonight, hopefully, maybe tomorrow. I'm going to get those complete. But if you're missing anything else, uh, please backtrack and get those submitted. And let me know once you submit it so I can go in and grade those. OK, if you have any questions, any concerns, please reach out. This research process, we're kind of full steam ahead um, and everything builds. So like last week, we did the research questions and, and methods or, or re the type of research. This week, we're doing results and conclusions. So we want to make sure that we're on top of it uh, and that we're understanding everything. OK. All right. Y'all have a great day, uh, a great rest of the week. And I'll probably either either I'll see you on Wednesday or I'll update an announcement on Wednesday. All right. Have a great day. Bye bye.